You talked about how a couple of Joe's comments show inner feelings, whether it's his comment about uh, mall cops or his uh, take on the cats. What did you mean by that? Well, that, that mall cop should never have happened. And it only comes out from inner feelings. I mean, there's been so many situations, and, and, and the question arises, should a mayor of the city of New York, the greatest city in the world, the most diverse city in the world, diverse city in the world have those kind, that kind of temperament? Whether you're calling Mayor Bloomberg an idiot after the Sandy crisis, whether during the last debate when I sat down and he called Governor Patterson a crook. I mean, why do you use words like that? You could say things that what you want to say without using those kind of, of, of words. And the Port Authority police, they protect the most important assets in our city, our tunnels, our bridges, our airports. Why, why mall them like that? I mean, it's just wrong. If you I don't... Mean, I mean, you, you gotta, hey, if you go back even further back, where he got into that argument with that Hispanic reporter, or that New York Times reporter. Was the New York Times reporter? Uh, and you know about the Hispanic reporter, right? I mean, they settled their case. They sealed the document so it doesn't show. They, he whipped the Hispanic reporter against the wall and, and called him a four-letter word that, uh, that's, uh, that's bad towards uh, Hispanics. So if you don't win the primary on Tuesday, would you consider supporting the Democrat? Well, I think I'm going to win. Because you know what's the difference but, between but me and him? But if you don't win, John, would I, you consider I, supporting the Democrat? I, I, you know, I, you, you heard what I said during the debate. I'm not going to talk any further about it today. I believe that people are going to realize that I'm a leader, I'm tough, but I have a heart. And remember that heart portion. I think people in the city of New York want a, that, that kind of person. What did, you think of the, what did you think of the fact that Joe Loda said he had <coughs> nothing to ask you, was not interested in asking you a question? Kind of I think he was afraid for the swing back. Think I think that's what he was afraid of. Afraid for the what? The punch. Swing back, okay. Swing back. You don't think that it was intended to suggest that you had nothing to say of interest to him? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, I think, uh, look, I had a good night's sleep last night. I think he was worried more about it than I was today. Uh, John, you seem to suggest that you'd be in favor of raising the taxes on the wealthiest bracket. Is that what you said? No, I said that we have to treat all the brackets right. We can't chase away people. You can't chase away. Look, I am an upper bracket person. I don't mind paying more taxes. A lot of the upper people don't mind paying upper, uh, more taxes. But you can't abuse people. And uh, the way de Blasio talks is it's almost abuse. And um, I, I think we need more common sense in government. And I've operated my life, I've operated my companies for the last 44 years. Common sense. But are you endorsing his doing. tax plan then? Am I endorsing what? Endorsing de Blasio's tax plan, if you Absol agree. I didn't say that. Where did you get that from? If you agree. I think I said de Blasio is absolutely wrong and he's radical. And, uh, you know, we we got to be able to treat all our citizens equally and not chase anybody out. You know why? I had, I had a, um, a fundraiser for about a year ago for a Florida governor. And you know what, they, you know what he said? He said, thank you for raising your taxes because more people are moving into Florida every day. And you know what happens if you keep doing that? You end up like downtown Detroit. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not a year from now, five years from now, but over the next 10 years, you start going that direction. And uh, look, look at the other thing, where you have New Yorkers that love New York, but make sure they stay out of it 186 days a year. Look, I know many of New Yorkers that say, well, I make sure I don't make any phone calls while I'm in New York. I make sure uh, I don't use easy pass going over the bridge. I want no way that New York State could prove I was in New York. I know these people. <coughs> and I don't think we should, I think we should have more common sense than chase these people out. Anybody else? What are you going to do between uh, now and, and uh, Tuesday at 9 o'clock to beat Joe Loda? I am working hard. I am in every community. My wife has been in the Russian community. 
uh, saying to, to the people in the Russian community, because my wife is part Russian, she says, isn't it about time uh, New York has a first lady? Isn't it about time you might have a Russian first lady? And they love her for that. They She's my biggest asset. My kids are my biggest asset, too. Uh, we All of us, we love New York. They grew up in New York. And we want New York to thrive. We want to take whatever Mayor Bloomberg has built and go even higher. And that's, I have no agenda. When, when, when Joe said that the fact that, that uh, uh, his old buddies from the uh, Rudy administration, uh, that uh, they weren't looking for jobs, they're all lining up looking to put their fingers back into the pot. I mean, it's, it's just common. Look, you asked the questions about that. I mean, it's just common knowledge. I mean, look, I have no agenda. All I want to do is the right job for, for our taxpayers, the right job for our workers. And I'm not interested in money. I'm not worried about my next job. And when you, when you, when you look at the fact, when I talked about the IOUs for corporate welfare, and we're talking about the large corporate guys, that whether it was $400 million for the Yankees, Avi, where was it? On the steps of City Hall as they were leaving on December 31. On the steps of City Hall as they're leaving. Oh, let's do another $400 million. Somebody ran up, up to him and they signed it. And, and Mayor Bloomberg said it was a bad deal and voided it when he found out about it two months later. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about cable vision and Madison Square Garden. $300 million in tax, uh, zero to real estate taxes, they're charging, and they're going to move out? They're charging $5,000 a seat for the front row. Where are they going to get that? In uh, Albany? I mean, you know, give me a break. You know, we need smarter people at the, at the wheel that are not going to give away our taxpayers' money. I have no agenda. I owe nothing to anybody. I have no IOUs. David Koch, you know, gee, how is he going to win November 5th election with David Koch? Uh, you know, and do I see him? Uh, I mean, I, I think he's uh, living in Dreamsville on that. And in, in fact, also, that the whole month of August, he raised $157,000. Where's he going? What? Give me a break. What, what's the problem with David Koch contributing to, to Joe Loda for the general election? What's the problem? There'll be an IOU there. But, but, you've, but you've given money to candidates. Do you have an I IOU? Have. You I have. I have never, ever, ever asked for anything so why, from so any, any, any uh, candidate. Uh, I've never asked anything from any of the candidates. And, um, no, I would have loved to get a uh, uh, tax exemption for some of my real estate properties. Did I get it? Did other people right. give it? get it? Yes. But, but why do you think David Koch would have an IOU? He's, you know, no, he's pretty, a bit, yeah. he's upper income. No, I, I just think that, that in general, right. a lot of IOUs out there. And uh, I don't think David Koch is viewed by the populace of right. New York City as somebody that they're going to want to vote for that he endorsed. And, and you mentioned during the debate, you, you had some questions about the pre-9-11 preparation that the Giuliani, the Giuliani administration sort of had undergone, placing the emergency management it center. Was, in, in yeah. A lot of Republicans, I think, would, would be sort of surprised to see you attack his credentials in that regard. Well, Can, you know, Rob Ryan right there uh, handled an investigation of that whole situation. Rob, were you there? So yeah, you can ask Rob There were a lot of people who raised concerns yeah. about the placement. Yeah. And, and it, you, you don't do what they did. You, make, you, you put it someplace where it's remote, not from the place where, where you had a problem seven years before or five years but, before. It's just wrong, Avi. It's just wrong. Do you blame, put it you blame Loda, for, Loda for that personally? Well, you, you know, if you, if you want to take the credits for all the successes of 9-11, you've got to take the debits too. Can you elaborate on the, on the love factor with the minorities comment? Uh, say that again? You said that there's a love factor with the minorities during the debate. With me? Yeah, with you. Can I you, elaborate? you know, I'm in every community. I'm in the Russian community. I'm in the, po po uh, uh, the Polish community. I'm in the, as a matter of fact, I'm having an event with the Romanian community. I am every Italian community. 
uh, Greek community. I'm in every community, and I love people. And you know something? They hug me back. Mr. Katsimatidis, Mr. Blasio has come under a lot of a lot of fire for the role of his family in his campaign. Yeah. What, what point are you trying to make, posing here now, with, with your family talking about your, your wife's role? Well, you, know, you want to know something? I love my family. They've always been there behind me. I've always been there behind them. I'm just proud to have a great family. That's all. And on that note, guys, we want to Okay. Thank you, guys.